Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up some Core 19. Uh, we got a box of that to bust open. Uh, plus, I've got three packs left from my uh, prize support over pre release weekend, which I uh, hope you all's pre release weekend went great. I'd love to hear how it went down in the comments. Drop me a line. Um, so, essentially, we're going to take one pack, and that's going to be for uh, the winner for last week comment in the video get put into a contest you guys know the drill and then uh we got the two more packs here these are going to go into the uh patreon build a pack box uh just because i got nothing else to do with them so <laughs> so that's what we're going to do so first off uh we are going to go ahead and we are going to jump on over to our wheel decide you all know how much i love that site everyone that commented on last week's video Names in this right here. We're going to go over random.org, roll a couple dice. Whatever comes up, that's how many times we're going to click the wheel to spin it, and then the winner's going to get whatever's in that pack. So, uh, let's go ahead. What do we got here? We got nine. Nine is a good little number. Let me get this thing going here. And then, there we go. Uh, we're going to click on this nine times, and whoever it picks, you're going to win this pack of Core 19. How awesome is that? All right. Good luck to everyone that's involved here. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Winner of this pack is Kevin Wheeler. Congratulations, sir. Uh, actually, no, you won a pack a couple weeks ago, I think it was. So, yeah, tell you what, this is going to be fun. Uh, and I'll go ahead and send this out with... Um, uh, Kevin is one of our patrons as well. So you go ahead and we'll send that out, this out with that. So this here is Kevin's pack. If I can open it, that one gave me some issues. All right, here we go. Uh, we'll kind of go through here. If there's any of this uncommon stuff you want, this box is in my way. Uh, let me know and we'll see what we can do. All right, we got the Diamond Mare. We got Declare It Dominance. We got Plague Mare. <laughs> this dude did work in pre-release. Tokens? No. Thopters? No. We saw a corner. What did we get? Ho, ho, ho! Winner! Winner! Chicken dinner! Kevin, you just got yourself a Nicobolas the Ravager. Most expensive card in the set right now. Congratulations, sir. And uh, I'll go ahead and send this, uh, the token or check card, mark card, uh, to go along with it. So, yeah, big hit for Kevin. Congratulations, sir. Look at that. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and take these cards and put them aside uh, for Kevin. And we still have more stuff to open for Kevin, but that's going to be in a later video. Um, we're doing we're doing something special we'll show you we'll show you when we get there all right now these two packs which i doubt we're going to top that one uh anything good out of these packs are going to go into our patreon build a pack box so uh nothing i don't think there's any commons can we focus can we can we do that awesome um i don't think there's any commons that are actually worth anything uh but i'll go through once I double check this video and uh, and we will we'll double C or double C we'll double check this to make sure we got millstone gift of paradise switcheroo that one that one wrecked me one turn or one game during pre-release and we got a spit flame um, so I'll go through and check the prices if um, anything is actually worth anything I'll go ahead and throw it in and if not then uh, it is where it is all right um, let's try to open something good in this pack for our patrons. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's nothing uncommon in here that's actually worth anything. So, we got, uh, Gas Bark Twins, we got Diagraph Ghoul, Aerial Engineer, and we got a Dismissive Pyromancer. Uh, so, 
Yeah, I don't think there's anything really good in there. I could be wrong. I will double check. Uh, we're going to put these off to the side, though. That way we don't get them mixed up. That way, if there is anything of value in here, we can uh, you know, properly address them into our Patreon build a pack box. So I'm going to try my best to get through this box somewhat quickly. Um, because with adding the couple packs you open the beginning, add some time to it. So I'm going to hustle through this the best I can. Plus, I know you all don't like watching like super long videos. Um, or you might like it and you just might not like might not like watching my super long videos. So let's go ahead and crack these packs here. We'll get them out of the box. There we go. All right. And you know, what? let's start this box off uh, the same way. Let's go ahead and crack this pack here, and whatever is good in this will go into the Patreon build the pack box. We'll skip through all this stuff here, and then we got a Volley Veteran, uh, Colossal Majesty, Seder Enchanter, and then we got one with the machine. Still don't know. I, I don't know if that's a good one or not. So we'll throw those aside along with the other ones. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this one. We're going we're to open something that I, I think I'm pretty sure is worth something. So that's how we're going to do this. Uh, we got Blanchwood Armor. Suspicious Bookcase, Murder, and Liliana. Okay, well, that's a Planeswalker. That's going into the Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Uh, so this is the first Mythic of the box. Liliana, Untouched by Death. I got a little bug flying around here. That thing is going to be very annoying. All right, so this is, like I said, this is going into our Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Uh, another rare, well, Mythic, uh, that our Patreons have a chance of actually getting uh, when they do the Build-A-Pack box. All right, now on to just cracking these open. Um, we're opening these just for the fun of it. Essentially, that's what we're doing here. We got Thud, Militia Bugler, Lightning Strike, and Leonin Ward Leader. That's not too shabby. And we need to get a Woodland Stream. All right, like I said, I'm trying to get through this so y'all ain't waiting too long, you know, having to watch half hour videos. We don't want to do that. We got a Recollect, we got Aegis of the Heavens, and we got a Surge Mare, and then an Alpine Moon. I'm not as thrilled about that as everyone else seems to be. Um, I mean, it's cool, um, but I, I just I I've heard some people say that it's the it's uh, the new replacement for Blood Moon, and Unless there's something drastic I am missing, it is, that is not it. <laughs> uh, we got a Gas Bark Twins, uh, Reassembling Skeleton, Aerial Engineer, and Resplendent Angel. I know this one's worth a buck or two. This one actually did some work for me during pre release as well. So, not a bad start to our box. Two Mythics in the first handful of packs. And one of those Mythics is going to go to a Patreon. Patron. Eventually, someday. I mean, they have to pull out of the box, but anyways, we got uh, Aether Tunneler, Dragon Scale Disciple, Plague Mare, and Mentor of the Meek. Oh, we got a Foil Draconic Disciple. That is actually not a very impressive foil. I'm slightly disappointed. <laughs> and we got a Cinder Barons. Uh, yeah, you know, there's some cards look awesome in foil, some cards don't. It's just the way they're made. There's other ones that could look awesome. They just didn't make it look awesome, I guess, in the foiling process. All right, we got Druid of Horns. We got Departed Deckhand, Gutter Snipe. Glad to see him back. And we got a uh, Victus Asmati, the Dire Rock on. So that's, is that three Mythics? Three Mythics, and we're not even halfway through that first stack. Good Lord Almighty. Let's go ahead and rearrange it so we can actually see what we're doing here. There we go. Now we're thinking with power. All right, next pack. Hurry this along, Chuck. Hurry it, all, hurry it along. I would like to know how y'all's pre-release went. I really do want to hear about that. Uh, so let me know down in the comments. We got Fiery Finish, Fountain of Renewal, Vigilant Bailoff, and Laughless Dragon Queen. 
That one's uh, that one's not too shabby. I pulled that during the pre-release as well. That was during the two-headed giant. That was just that was some fun right there. Which quick shout out to Wesley that I played with. Um, I don't even know if you watch this or not, but man, it was a blast playing two-headed giant with you. I haven't had that much fun playing two-headed. Well, I don't play two-headed giant a lot, but I haven't had that much fun playing. Uh, Team Magic, and I couldn't tell you how, how long. That was absolutely amazing, so thank you for that experience. Good, sir. We actually didn't do too half bad considering our pool. Uh, we got Gift of Paradise, we got Herald of Faith, we got Mirror Image, that one's not too bad, and we got a Tezzeret Artifice. <laughs> what? We got four Mythics, and we haven't even finished the first deck. Oh, 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 I got a feeling this is going to be a good box. Oh, lordy. <laughs> lordy, lordy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got uh, Aether Tunnel, Tunneler, Millstone, Siegebreaker Giant, and Demon of Catastrophes. And we got a foil, too. So, a foil island. Well, you know, this can go into the build the pack box as well. Because, uh, as you guys know, we give out foil, foil basics to pretty much anyone that receives cards from us from any of the tiers on, uh, on Patreon. So we'll put that aside. <clears throat> Just another bonus is signing up on Patreon. We got good stuff. Go check it out. So, yeah. Man, we are... This box is kind of cooking so far. We got Blood Divination, Volcanic Dragon, Declared Dominance, and... The Ox Wand. Flippin' love this. Transmogrifying Wand. We got another foil, don't we? We got a Ravenous Harpy. All right. Uh, <laughs> funny story. Two-Headed Giant, our last round, we had the wand out, as did our opponents. So we just basically had a big old field of oxen. Just chilling. Nobody had real creatures. Oh... Good times, good times. All right, we got Rupture Spire, Aegis of the Heavens, Surge Mare, and we got a Jinn of Wishes. Submerged Boneyard is the special land we got. All right, we got a Thud. We got Gargoyle, Sentinel. We got Murder, and then we got ourselves a Demanding Dragon. That guy's not too shabby either. All right, starting on that third stack. Now that we pulled four mythics out of the box, I mean, on average, we should not be pulling any more mythics. That's just you know, numbers wise, that's where we're at. We got Ether Shield Artificer, Skilled Animator, Mirror Image, and Psy Master Thopterist. Tell me that don't look like flipping Snoop Dogg. Tell me it don't. Tell me. I'm telling you, it looks like. Oh, we got another foil, too. Sweet. We got a walking corpse. And then we get a Highland Lake. All right. How are we doing on time? <laughs> I am not doing well. All right. All right. Less chit-chat. More cards. Fiery Finish. Siegebreaker Giant. Uh, Psychic Symbiont. And a Magistrate's Scepter. I mean, I, I like what it does. Maybe EDH. It has a place, but that's awfully expensive to take an extra extra turn, especially it gives them so many opportunities to, you know, get rid of it before you can actually use it. Uh, Psychic Corrosion, Rogue's Gloves, Declare Dominance, and Open the Graves. That's a nice one. And then we get a Forsaken Sanctuary. So what do y'all plan on playing now with this new set coming out? We got some good stuff. Oh, I got a sneak peek. We got a foil. We got a foil back there. Reclamation Sage. So glad you're back. Dryad Green Seeker. Switcheroo. And we got ourselves a Death Baron. Rock on. Oh, we did not get a foil. I thought we had a foil. I lied. I'm sorry. All right. But we did get a Beth Gear. Death. Death. We got that guy, and Tranquil Expanse, and then we got an emblem to go with our Tezzeret. So I guess, that, here, we'll put that right there. You two can hang out. Sweet. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We got Bone to Ash, Johnny's Welcome, Gargoyle Sentinel, and Sun Cleanser. 
kind of straighten this up here for a quick second. Yeesh. So some of these packs just give me issues. I mean, I almost guarantee it's just me. Oop, wrong pile. Wrong pile. And I hit the camera. Awesome. I'm batting a thousand tonight. We got Stitch Stitcher's Supplier Inferno Hellion, uh, Regal Bloodlord, and Runic Armasaur. And then we did get uh, a Stone Quarry with that. Almost thought for a second we got another foil, but we didn't get another foil. And I hit the camera again. Oh, man. I'm sorry, folks. I don't know what it is. It's been a long weekend. That That's what it is. We got a Gerper Guide, Sleep, that's not bad, Fell Spectre, and Goblin Trash Master. And then we got a Highland Lake. Push that off to the side. Maybe I'll quit hitting the camera. Okay. I said some of these packages give me the business. All right. Oh, I got a sneak peek of the rare. Sorry about that, folks. We got Shield Mare. I love we have horses. Uh, we got Millstone. We got Aerial Engineer, and we got Cleansing Nova as our rare. Yeah, I would like to know what you guys pulled. Uh, what you guys have pulled so far. I'm gonna tell you here in a second what I got uh, during previous. We got Tectonic Rift. Uh, Recollect, uh, Hyromancer's Cage, and then Phylactery Lich. Oh, and then we got a Foil Graveyard Marshal. Sweet. Put that with the foils? Yeah. And we got a Woodland Streams. So during my uh, early bird pre-release event on Saturday morning, 10 a.m., I pulled the Crucible of Worlds and an Omniscience. Now, it's I mean, it's nice because you're opening up a little bit of money, um, not a whole lot of money because they're not worth a ton, um, but completely useless in limited. I mean, just could not be worse. Well, I mean, it could be worse, but it's not something you can really play. We got Arcane Encyclopedia, Vine Mare, uh, Horizon Scholar, and Vivian's Invocation, and then Forsaken Sanctuary. Uh, so yeah, I still managed to cobble, uh, cobble together a, a rel relatively decent deck. Um, it was only three rounds. I went two and one for that. And then um, uh, Wesley and I teamed up for the two-headed giant. We had a horrific pool. I'll tell you that in a second. Arcane Encyclopedia, Dryad Green Seeker, Ball, Brawl, oop, Brawl, Bash Ogre, and then we got our Katie's the Strategist. All right. Oh, we got another foil. Uh, so that's five mythics for the box. We get a normal endurance for another foil. Um, what Wesley and I pulled was hot garbage. The most expensive thing we pulled was the foil reliquary tower, which I then pulled again uh, at Sunday at the main event on Sunday. Pulled another foil one. Um, but we just we didn't have synergy. It just it it wasn't pretty. Uh, we got dragon's egg. Fountain of Renewal, Vampire Sovereign, and Goreclaw, Terror of Qualsima. Tokens. Um, but somehow, we managed to squeak out the first three games. We, uh, I wouldn't say, no, the, um, game one and two, uh, were pretty much sweeps, I believe, if I'm rem remembering correctly. Game three, I don't think it was a sweep, but we still took it. So we actually did not too half, not half bad. Um, we got Suspicious Bookcase, we got Bone to Ash, Skyrider Patrol, and Remorseful Cleric. Oh, and we got a Foul Orchard. Sweet. Oh yeah, we're on that last stack. Forgot to mention that. Sorry, folks. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so we did Halfway Ethan. I think we took 6th or 7th overall. I, I don't recall, but we got a Ravenous Harpy, we got a Diamond Mare, Herald of Faith, and a Wind Reader Sphinx. And then we got another foil. We got two foil rares. We got a foil Chaos one. This is so gross. Okay, first of all, that thing is just beautiful. Second of all, okay, let me read this to you. Target opponent exiles top card from their library until the exile instant or sorcery card. And then you get to cast it without paying its mana cost. And then 
uh, put the cards exiled, or put the exiled cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of their library in any random order. This is so good, because you're essentially weeding out their deck of the good stuff. Um, I dig this. And that's foil, that's even better. Two foil rares in a box. Holy cats. We've had a good box here, folks. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to lie. This has been good. All right. Let's see what we got. Wait a second. Okay, no. No, that's right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm losing my train here. Okay, we got Rise from the Grave. We got a Johnny's Welcome. Meteor Golem. That guy's good and limited. I don't care what anyone says. And Sigil, the Sword of Valoran. Uh, that's actually pretty nuts, too. Spitting out a 2-2 every turn. Attacking, and it's untapped. Gross. Actually, I think we attached one of those to our ox, the ox, many oxen we had last night. So, yeah, fun times. We got Rise from the Grave, we got a Horizon Scholar, Volcanic Dragon, and Supreme Phantom. Oh, and we got another, we got a Foil Essence Scatter. All right, and then we got a Timber Gorge, and then a Johnny Emblem. Yeah, this box is... We're going to call this box a winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what we're doing. We're doing winner, winner, chicken dinners all over the day today. And I got another sneak peek. Sorry, folks. All right. We got Make a Stand, Nightmare's Thirst, Enigma Drink, uh, <laughs> Prodigious Growth, the Give It 7-7 seven, seven and Trample. Thing is gross. And then No Foil. Okay. Yeah, we had <laughs> saw someone at Brearley's put that thing on their Hydra. That was already a 5-5. Five, five. I'm pretty sure we just scooped and went to the next game. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Okay. Try not to reveal that rare at the end. We got Leonin Vanguard Sift. Knightly Valor. And we got a, speaking of Hydra, Hungering Hydra. And then a uh, uh, Bristling Boar. That's what we got there. And then a Nick of Bolas marker and a Bat Token. Almost done here, folks. Thank you for sticking it out with me. Greatly appreciated. I know watching these long openings can be kind of tedious. We got Rupture Spire, Militia Bugler, Bugler Lightning Strike, and Mist Caller. Yeah, Mist Caller. Submerged Boneyard as the dually landy thing. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty here. We got Novice Knight, Poison Tip Archer, a Johnny's Pride Mate, and Banefire. That thing's going to go places for a little bit. I really think it is. All right. Relic Worry Tower. Got another sneak peek. Sorry, dang it. Double cast. Reassembling Skeleton and Thorn Lieutenant. All right. That wrapper doesn't go there. Silly goose. Two packs left. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we got Nightmare's Thirst. We got Heroic Reinforcements, uh, Exclusion Mage, and then we got a Dark Dweller Oracle, and then a Meandering River. Last pack, let's see what this box can do. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and once we're all done here, I'm going to put a total down at the bottom of the screen. We're going to see if we can beat uh, the price of these box boxes. Uh, see if we came out ahead. I think we did good on this one. Uh, we got Skilled Animator, we got Colossal Majesty, Seder en Enchanter, and then Infernal Reckoning. All right. Uh, I think that's actually... That might do stuff. I mean, Eldrazi? Sounds good? Yeah? Um, so, yeah, that's what we got for our box. Um, notice, notable stuff um that's got potential. Um, you know, I honestly don't recall off the top of my head prices for the majority of this stuff. Um, just because I'm bad with prices. Um, I want to say he's like five bucks. Could be wrong. Um, 
but we definitely got a a good variety and we got more than your average this guy's gonna do things for a little bit i'm just saying that right now this guy is gonna see some play for at least three months uh, <laughs> and yeah so we got that that good stuff um now, don't forget that we also, out of this box, we pulled those three rares. I don't remember if they were, but we did pull the Liliana, which is going to our Patreon, Build a Pack Box. And then we got the uh, Arcades, which I have no idea what he's at. We did get Tezzeret. That's kind of cool. Resplendent Angel. That's pretty cool. And then Vivictus Esmati. I'm not sure where he's at, um, but it's still one of the... One of the Elder Dragons. I'm really glad we got to see them come back. Uh, foils. We got Bristling Boar, Essence Scatter. We got the Chaos Wand. Yeah. Uh, Abnormal Endurance, Graveyard Marshal. Another... I'm t this is going to see, see play too. It's, it's going to see it. It's. I'm not even in focus here or in center, but yeah, this is going to see play. Um, Walking Corpse, Ravenous Harpy, and Draconic Disciple. That's what we got. Um, I, I think we did good here. I think we did good. Um, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, so, anyways, if you like what you saw here, do us a huge favor. Click that like button. Hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the little bell notification button, too, so you can tell when we get new episodes out. And then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you could do us one last favor and check a brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.